2010 Winter Games was Canada's time to shine. And while there was no shortage of anxiety throughout, from the gaffes to the glory, by the time the curtain fell on a closing ceremony, it would be an Olympics Canadians would never forget. Whether you thought they were good, bad, or just plain kooky, the opening and closing ceremonies placed Canada front and centre on the world stage. I think as Canadians we are very self-deprecating, so that we, we, we kind of think, yeah, we're, we're good, but we're not necessarily great. And that's exactly what the opening ceremonies look like. Everyone talks about the technical problem when the torch didn't rise. I couldn't see that when it happened. It, I knew that something had gone wrong. And then Gretzky in the rain trying to keep the thing on at the back of a truck. It looked like a Ford commercial, not a good one. Going to light a cauldron that people couldn't actually get anywhere near because you had to look at it behind a fence. The lip syncing. Can we stop the lip syncing already? And the, the pillar doesn't rise. I, I looked at it and thought, didn't they think this thing through? We've been planning this thing for years. Didn't they think about all these details? And in a way, it was sort of quintessentially Canadian. You know, it wasn't perfect because we aren't. The gold medal hockey game between Canada and the U.S. became the most watched broadcast in Canadian history. Uh, not only did you have millions of people watching the game on television, but at Yahoo, we had a quarter of a million people following the game on a live chat, which means they were sitting there watching their television set with a laptop on, on the couch, which uh, makes an even more incredible moment. I think the bottom line for the, the Winter Olympics was going to be that no matter what happened, and we could have blown every event and, 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 and you know, finished last and everything, there's one thing we had to win, and it was men's hockey. And if we won the gold in men's hockey, all else would be forgotten and forgiven. Our men's hockey team was hyped to win that gold medal. There's no reason why we shouldn't have, really. But the expectation before the Olympics was Canada was going to win hockey gold on, on, its, own, uh, on its own ice. And, any time that there's a, a loss by Canada at a major hockey competition, there's a, there's a lot of looking inside. And that's why there was so much pressure and so much importance on that game. And with Sidney Crosby actually scoring the goal, Sid the kid, the all-Canadian kid, you could not have scripted this any better. It was his Olympics to win or lose, and he won. It was a storybook ending. His legacy will be now that he's a Canadian sporting hero. Canadians 50 years from now will remember him just like they remember Paul Henderson for that game-winning goal against uh, the Soviet Union back in 1972. They're going to forget the fact that there was no snow. They're going to forget the fact that the opening ceremony sucked. They're going to remember one thing. We won the gold and it was Sid the Kid who won it in overtime. Perfect ending. We walked into the games with a bravado uncharacteristic of our national personality. Own the podium, we declare to the world. There was this own the podium campaign um, that a lot of us had issues with. Do we really want to own the podium? Is it not good enough to want to compete? Is it only about winning? The medals mean everything. On the other hand, why shouldn't we own the podium? Canadians don't actually believe in the things that we say we can do. So when we said own the podium, we really meant own the podium. We weren't actually going to own it. We just sort of said, hey, let's go own the podium. I don't think we actually expected we, we could get that many gold medals. As the Olympics went on, there was this wild trajectory of, in the first week, desperation, despair, disillusionment, because we didn't have a lot of medals. It all changed one weekend with Alexandre Villadeau. The moment that he won that first gold on Canadian soil, everything seems to change. And then uh, this almost Hollywood-like rise of emotion as we started to gain the medals. People started thinking, hey, maybe we can own the podium, or at least part of the podium. Those were some of the top stories from the 2010 Winter Games. Thanks for watching, and remember, you can check back right here with Yahoo Canada for daily year in review updates that you won't want to miss. In the meantime, feel free to share this video with all your friends 